Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hello, ye lads, lasses, and anyone in between. My name's KP, a.k.a. Sir Likeless Lad. I've recruited my sister-in-law, Kim. She's behind the camera. You don't see her, but maybe you will eventually. Here we are today with my car. So because of my disabilities and stuff, uh, I can't drive normal cars. I gotta get some modifications done. So I figured I'd give you a tour of my car and show you what's going on inside. All right, so let's get started. So before I show you the inside of my car, I figured I'd show you my keys because uh, I have keyless entry, which is kind of nice because then I can just keep this in my pocket and then I have this button right here and when I press the button with the key next to it, it unlocks on its own. Wow. All right, so let's, let's get in the car now. So first thing you might notice is I have all these buttons right here on the car, on the door, on the door. And those are gonna be used by my legs. I know that's kind of a weird place, but I use them with my legs so that I can just kind of move it over and then it'll hit those buttons. Let's get a little mo bit more of a closer look. This one is a brake lock and that's for my hand controls. And I'll show you my hand controls in a little bit. Uh, then this one, I think, is the, the high beams. I haven't used all these buttons in a while. This was the windshield wiper, but that one broke off, so I don't use that one anymore. And then this top one, for if I have my prosthetics off, this is the horn, so I can press this and it honks the horn. All right, so another modification that we had done to my car is down here with the pedals, with the gas pedal specifically. It's technically still there, but we were able to flip it up so that my prosthetic feet don't get in the way and accidentally hit it while I'm driving because that would be very bad because you know I can't feel where the feet are so it would be very bad if I accidentally started going without meaning to. Next thing we're going to show you so you're probably going to look at this thing and wonder what the heck is this. This is to help me steer so I just put my hand in here and I get a good enough grip like that and then I use that to turn the car so I can turn really fast. That's a fun thing. That does that, and then this, these are my hand controls for the gas and the brake. So, in short, I pull back for the gas and I go forward, and then I push forward for the brake. And then this has a few other fancy things. If I, you might hear a click, that's for the left blinker, and then another click to the right, and that's the right blinker. I'll show you that once we have the car on. It's time to get started. Let's turn on the car. So since I have the keyless entry, I just have to turn, put that in and then turn it. And it turns on. Like I said before, this brake lock over here. So I'm gonna push that with my leg and then I can push this forward and it locks it into place so the brake is on. So I can do that and then use that to put it in drive. I gotta put my seatbelt on because safety first. And then we're just gonna go driving. Mm -mm -mm. So like I said, we're pulling back for the gas and pushing forward for the brakes. See, I use this to turn with. We're probably gonna go pick up, we're gonna go drive through somewhere uh, so you can see what that's like. Action. All right, so we're just driving now. It's actually kind of fun how I got this car because we were really good friends with my neighbor and he was a widow. He didn't have any kids so we ended up becoming like his second family and he joined our family and so he actually bought me this car and paid for all of these modifications so that I could drive a car just like everybody else. It's nice to get a reminder of him because he, he died about 10 years ago. I miss him a lot, but you know, he was 96 when he died. So it's okay that 
he's gone. He was ready to go. So it actually took a little while for everything to get put in here. It's funny because I have three siblings and my parents and they, they all drove my car before I did because we got the car and it took so long to get all the modifications put in. I don't remember exactly how long, but it had been at least a month or two with just getting the stuff in and waiting for that stuff to be ready. So a lot of people ask me if it was hard to learn how to drive with hand controls. And the answer to that is no, because I, this is the only way that I learned how to drive. And so because of that, like I never had to like think about switching it from my legs to my arms because this is just kind of natural to me now. Now it might be weird for other people who try to drive my car because they're like, oh, this is weird, this is different. And I'm like, mm. I find it weird that you drive with your feet, so. <laughs> to each their own, I guess. I have gotten into a few accidents. They weren't my fault. I've gotten rear-ended a couple times. And then one time I slipped on black ice. That was not a fun experience. I was on my way up to a camp to volunteer for the day and it was up in the high desert so I was driving for a while and I came across this like the road was curving and so I was curving along with it and then all of a sudden my car was spinning and I was facing the opposite direction on the other side of the road. I don't think that the, the hand controls made much of a difference in that kind of situation because I mean, I still have as much control over the car as somebody does without all the hand controls because I know how to move my car and I know how it works, so I don't think that that made much of a difference. So we're going through the El Taco because I want to show you guys what it's like for me to order stuff, handle credit cards and stuff like that. Uh, can I get uh, one of the habanero crispy chicken tacos, one Cholula crispy chicken taco, and then a medium iced coffee, and that's gonna be it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, we're just gonna go around and around. And then it's nice with that brake lock because I can just put that on and then I just can sit here without having to do anything. Fancy. Yeah, super fancy. I don't usually go through drive throughs a whole lot these days because most of the time I'm at home and I can just make food at home. So I think part of becoming an adult is having the no, we have food at home discussion with yourself. All right, here we go. We're getting to the window. I like to get as close as I possibly can. We got our masks on because, well, you know why. I think of all of the fast food places that Del Taco is my favorite. I don't know why. It's just delicious to me. Hi. Hello. Bye, please. All right. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna give this to you. Um, yeah, can uh, we get the the medium? Do you want any hot sauce? No, I'm okay. Okay. Just, yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. And then we're gonna get going. Uh oh, automatic roll up and we're just gonna we're just gonna head back to home. I can take this mask off though. Alright, and then if you watch, I'm gonna put it back to the spot and it's gonna stop. Wow. Alright, and then we do it that way. The right blinker's on, you can hear it going. Gotta wait for this truck to go. Mm -hmm. All right, 
So that's going to be it for this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so that you can see when I post a video every Thursday. And with that, Sir Likeless Lad, out.